Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we are going to look at the first instructional video on how to use the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, you like, and you share this video. Let's proceed. Okay. If you are very familiar with the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator, you will have knowledge of how the interface looks like. You get to realize that the interface is as shown on the screen. We are going to look at the part of this particular interface so that you can better interact with your device with much ease. So first of all, we have the display. Okay display this portion here is a display because it displays both input and of course output as well now we come to the on key all right this little key you see here as you can see is the on key all right you just press it once and that is it and now we we'll have the mode key the mode key actually enables you to adjust your calculator to a certain mode it can be statistics it can be basic computational mode it can be complex mode and so on and so forth okay so we'll look at that the various functionaries of the computer of the various functionaries installed in the calculator okay so we'll move to the next one which is the Kesa control buttons so if you want to scroll up you use this particular key if you want to scroll down, you use this particular key. If you want to control to the left and then to the right, of course, you navigate using this particular keys, as you can see here. Now, we have for the shift key. Actually, the shift key enables you to access secondary functions of a particular key. Okay, for instance, you can see solve here. and It has the same color as shift. Before I can access this particular function, I have to press the shift key. You see here we have, if you press on this key, it gives you a fraction. But when you press shift and press that, it gives you the mixed fraction layout. Okay. So those are the keys you can access using the shift key. There are more. There are more. As you can see, pi, um, statistics, metrics, all those things. Depending on the mode on which the calculator is operating. Next, we have the alpha key. The alpha key or alpha simply is, is in short for alphabet. Alright, but it has other functions than that. The alpha key enables you to access variables like this. For instance, if I want X to appear, you see it at the top here, you have to first of all press the alpha key before you press this close bracket key. That will give you the X variable. The same for the Y, the E, the D, the B, the A. The C and so on and so forth as you can see on your calculator and then we have the function keys in other words the scientific function keys these are the scientific function keys as you can see logarithms integration uh, exponential powers and so on and so forth all these can be accessed including trigonometric and of course hyperbolic functions all these can be accessed using the scientific function keys so take note of that and now we have the delete key so assuming you type something and you want to delete it, you just press this one then it will delete it for you okay that is the delete key all right so it can delete the characters you have typed on your display all clear key right all clear key what it does is that it only clears your display at a certain instance the all clear key display, uh, clears all displays on your display here all right so what does that mean if you use the all clear key values especially previous answer values will still be in the calculator when you use the all clear key some people prefer using the on key the what the on key does is that it it ends up deleting previous calculation values Okay, so it is always good that when you want to clear your display, use all clear key so that when you want answers you had earlier, you can easily have access to them. And now we have the number keys. 
the number keys as you can see enable you key in certain digits or values okay and these are the hindu arabic numerals nothing more nothing less okay then let's go to the basic operation keys as you can see the basic operation multiplication multiplication division um, addition and of course subtraction those are the basic operation keys all right then we have what is called the equals key all right this one gives you a display of the answer of a basic computation all right it gives you the display of the answer when you are dealing with a basic computation aside that too when you are even solving equations there's a, there are there are certain times that you will need to press the equal key we'll look at the functionalities of it in details very soon the last but not least which is called the last answer key the last answer key displays the previous the most previous answer you had all right the most previous the answer for the most previous calculation you had it enables you uh, recall it all right i hope this is very clear thank you for your time and stay tuned for our subsequent videos because we shall now be moving to the practicals all right on various uses of the calculator